In this video, we're going to talk about the mismatch effect in chimeras. Here, we we'll, let's use uh, the simple chimera to try to explain the ideas. But the idea itself is a universal; it could be applied to other chimeras. Let's refresh on the how this uh, chimera works first. So you have M1 on the left and M2 on the right side. Both the transistors have the same sizing. Now the reference current coming to the on on the left side and then dumping to the M1 transistors. Since M1 and M2 have the same VGS, now our reference is copied to the out current. But in the reality, um, okay. First of all, we made assumption here that the M1 and M2 has exact the same uh, threshold. But in reality, even though that the M1 and M2 in the layout, we put them very close side by side, VTH of the, these two transistors could be different. Let's say one is a VTH, the other one is a VTH plus a delta here. So with that mismatch, what exactly IL going to be? How going to be equal to I reference plus a small delta, small delta here, which is GM multiplied by delta VTH. In this schematic, Q11 and Q7 is the ideal MOS transistor. So you have exactly the same sizing, same sizing here. The threshold is about the same, but due to the mismatch, this Q11 um, transistor, its threshold is 3 millivolts um, away um, than this, uh, the, the transistor with Q7 transistors. So these two guys combined is equivalent to M2 transistor in this command here. How we, okay, how we can improve on this mismatch? Right? When we look at the equation here, we kind of know that the in order to minimize this uh, this item here, what we can we we can do it is to uh, lower the GM of the the mass here, and the other way, it will just make the the VTH delta delta VTH smaller. How we can do that? Um, usually, for a given process, you're gonna see curve like this for the mismatch performance. I don't know. Is it, is it, apparently, there are two curves here. To slope here, one is probably this one for MOS, this one for PMOS, or vice versa. Doesn't matter. We just use this one as an example here. So as you can see, when you increase the WL, increase the area of the mass, right? It goes from here. This this point corresponds to a very small small uh, mass. Here goes that direction. The, the size of the mass increase. Well, you can see that the, you know if the offset has a Gaussian distribution, its sigma drops with um, the size. Right? The variation of the, the, the VTH drops with the size. So increase the WL, increase the mass transit sizing, it decreases the VTH mismatch. So therefore this one is minimized. So the second thing you can do is um, you can lower the W over L ratio to to minimize the GM, right? Go back again. Go back to this equation. This one, if you minimize this guy, you're gonna minimize the whole item here. So by doing this too, we can minimize the mismatch in a camera. Oh, by the way, that the support I try to make. Is um, you know never when you try it, it's kind of universal when you try to make one um, let's say um, minimize the mismatch for resistors for mass you know anytime when you're dealing with mismatching you know try to min minimize that never use the minimum W width or length just try to avoid that otherwise you're gonna have a run into the mismatch issues at all. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give us thumbs up. It means a lot to us.